Hello dear students my name is Kranti Joshi from BMS department today we are going to discuss about the logical threads so basically logical threads are malicious softwares which are designed to uh, destroy the data to steal the sensitive information in this presentation we are going to see about the some logical threads so what are the logical threats logical threats are the cyber attacks that exploits vulnerability that are the weaknesses into the computer systems so the uh, goal of these logical threats are to stealing the data uh, to destroy the data so we will uh, see first our logical threats that is a virus virus is a malicious software self replicated program that attack uh, that attach itself to other files or a program and spreading from one computer to another it can cause data loss or unauthorized access then next uh, logical threats is a trojan trojan is a familiar program a uh, trojan is a malicious program that appears as a legitimate but performs malicious activity once installed it can give hackers remote control over the computer systems so uh, sometimes user wants the uh, user wants the free softwares so they go into the spam website for the free softwares so uh, at that time th in that website aapko wo software ek uh, familiar software dikhega once you have download that software then after that that software will uh, might be trojan program and once you have installed that software into your computer system then dots that software can be act as a malicious software then next one is a phishing phishing is a technique to phishing is a method phishing involves tricking user into providing sensitive information by uh, posing as a trustworthy entity through email messages or fake websites Uh, like when uh, in sometimes you uh, getting message like you have won 50 lakh lottery click on this link and share your bank details so uh, this is a trick to uh, fool the user so that user can enter can share their bank details and hackers can hack that uh, hack their account so uh, phishing is a technique to fool the user so how these uh, logical threads work so first virus virus typically spread through infected email attachment or download uh, different applications they can execute harmful code when infected file is open or executed then next trojan trojan often as a legitimate software of a files uh, once user has download that software then it will spread or uh, spread into the computer then phishing phishing attacks trick user into uh, revealing their sensitive information uh, in this technique attacker sends the messages to the user so that user can uh, user majboor ho jata hai apni information ko share karne ke liye so at that time you uh, jaise uh, click on this link you will get reward you will uh, get some you will get that product into the low price so at that time uh, this is a technique to fool the user user uh, phishing technique next we will see prevention measures so how to uh, how, what measures we have to take while using the internet so first one you can uh, you have to keep software updated regularly update operating system antivirus software and applications to ensure that protection against the vulnerabilities weaknesses then second you can do that exercise caution online means uh, in this you can avoid the uh, clicking on to the random link random applications don't download uh, any untrusted application don't uh, go on to the spam website uh, don't share your personal information online then third use strong password so create unique and strong password for your website enable multi factor authentication multi level authentication for added the security okay then next uh, conclusion so uh, in this ppt we conclude that understanding logical threads is essential in protecting ourselves 
and our digital assets by staying informed and implementing preventive measures we can mitigate their impact and ensure a safer digital environment thinking of the logical threats are not only the threats there are physical threats are also av uh, available so we will now discuss about the physical threats so what are the physical threats Uh, so physical threats uh, means threats to directly to the hardware hardware devices which includes the computer cpu then uh, network then hardware devices various hardware devices so there are the two types of physical threats are available man made threats and natural threats natural threats includes the disaster uh, flood fire so this can be uh, this, these things can cause the physical threats to the computer systems and then second one man made threats where the person intentionally harm uh, intentionally intentionally uh, ha providing harm to the computer systems uh, stealing the data from the systems break that computer systems these are the man made threats so these are two types of it threats are available physical threats and non physical threats that are logical threats thank you